summertime. Time to start on your journey to becoming the best version of yourself. And Titan Medical Center is here to help you. Our goal is to help you feel, look, and perform your very best. With our wide variety of custom therapies and our team of skilled and knowledgeable medical professionals, Titan Medical Center has been helping patients for over a decade. If you're interested in more information about Titan Medical Center, call or text us today at 727-389-3220. Or you can also visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. What does it mean to be a Titan? Dedication, discipline, determination, focus, commitment. To be a Titan, you must be persistent in the pursuit of improvement. A true Titan will always triumph and rise above adversity. Being a Titan means becoming the best version of yourself. For more information, call or text Titan Medical Center at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. Titan Medical Center is a concierge medical clinic. We utilize cutting edge therapies and regimens that are doctor prescribed and sent right to you from U.S. licensed pharmacies. Hey guys, I'm John and today I'm here with my awesome nurse practitioners. We've got Jess here and awesome Chenille. So my nurse practitioners are here today and I'm so excited they're here because it's so hard to get them out of their daily schedule of helping patients feel their very best. But we get a lot of common questions with females and they want to know a couple different things because you know, some people don't, just don't have the education with hormones or blood testing or preventive medicine or what they should really do to feel, look, and perform at their very best. So I guess the first question I want to ask both you ladies, and you guys can go one at a time, or both at the time, same time and chime <laughs> in, I don't care, is can females or women get on hormone replacement therapy? Yes? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. So we've got two thumbs up for women getting on hormone replacement therapy, if everything's right, like medical history and like mm -hmm. all this good stuff. Absolutely, right? yes. You know, because there's a lot of different things you got to look for. Now you're asking yourself, probably how is the first step somebody really determines if they need hormone replacement therapy? The first step would be to get your labs checked. Lab and checks? oftentimes one of the first things that you think about is you might be just more tired or fatigued than normal, you're not sleeping well irregular menstrual cycles, heavy cramping, breast tenderness, mental focus and clarity issues and libido changes. So there's a lot of weight loss yes, that also yeah. decrease muscle mass, strength in the gym. Things just day to day that you may not normally think about could be related to the hormones that absolutely could be. Wow, so there's a lot of different things gonna affect a lot of different females out there in a lot of negative ways. And some of these ways they might not even know, right? I mean, because everybody, I guess, is tired. You know, there's a lot of people that are obese or overweight, right? So maybe some of these people don't think that maybe their hormones are messed up. Or I mean, I guess depression is one of the symptoms too, possibly, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Wow. Depressed mood, agitation, irritability, all kinds of different things. Even some patients who, you know, are previously on ADHD medications and things like that, that then get their hormones checked, find out that that is actually the underlying cause or imbalance and don't even need to take their medication anymore nice. once their hormones are corrected that's mm -hmm. awesome so I mean for blood testing I mean regular general practitioners usually don't blood test for these different things that we blood test for here right correct yeah. especially testosterone oh. and not typically I mean if you're gonna go to like your OBGYN they may just do a hormone panel where we do everything we want to make sure that your iron levels and your CBC is well within normal limits also thyroid could be playing a role as well so we make sure to check everything thoroughly to see what the underlying cause could be yeah i mean i've been you know doing this obviously for 10 years guys and i get my blood checked every three to six months and that checks everything like she said like a cbc like a complete blood cell count for you guys like you know might not know what it is comprehensive metabolic panel testosterone free and total so there's two different ranges we're checking for right mm -hmm. absolutely and the free testosterone is so important too it's oftentimes left off where it's just the total testosterone that's evaluated mm -hmm. but really the free testosterone is how much of that total is actually being utilized in the body so it's just as important to really take a look at and yeah. make sure that you're checking all of the hormones not just bits and pieces yeah I mean and then females I guess estrogen plays a, a huge role right oh yes 
you know, I, I guess it could be up, down. I mean, I know we tested a couple different estrogen panels, like a total estrogen or estradiol panel, I guess, as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. So, okay. All right. So, yeah. So, this could be, you know, maybe affecting, well, weight gain, bloating. Definitely. Like, you see things out there? Moodiness, irritability, nice. acne. Oh. And it depends, too. If it's too high or too low, like too low estrogens with the postmenopausal type females, you know, they might end up with the hot flashes, mm -hmm. yep. moodiness, irritability, vaginal dryness. Night It'll, sweats. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of different areas areas mm -hmm. so it's important to see if you're where your levels are at gotcha yeah so that's really really important guys to check out and we didn't even get into progesterone right or b12 levels or right, growth right. levels like igf1 levels i mean these are different things that are affecting you ladies and males out there but we're we're you know we're targeting on you females out there because we want to educate you guys on about being on hormone replacement therapy and stuff so you know is there anything else you think the ladies should know about going on hormone replacement therapy the only thing is just to get your levels checked, um, to, you know, live your best life, um, feel your greatest, have higher energy. Um, you know, if this is something that's playing a role, definitely don't wait on that. And don't be afraid of it. I find a lot of females too are really afraid, especially of testosterone because they see uh, misuse of it a lot. And then they're afraid that they'll develop other characteristics that are not quite as feminine. If it's done properly, that is not something that should ever occur. So we definitely yes. take those concerns very much yeah. um, in into our patients into consideration. And we also just would not prescribe any yeah. levels like that. That's very. That's a great, great point that Chanel covered here with Jess. Um, not overdosing you on hormones to give you more masculine traits, right? Testosterone is obviously a masculine hormone. And females and males both have that and all the other hormones that go with it, estrogen and such. Right. It's all about harmonic balance and different values for different genders, male or female. Um, so it's a great point. So the whole point of hormone replacement therapy, I guess, is to feel, look, and perform your best without any negative symptoms, right? Absolutely. Or side effects. Great. So that's awesome. So if you guys are interested in hormone replacement therapy or want to learn more, you guys should contact us here. Call or text 727-389-3220. Check out the website, typemedicalcenter.com, and then fill out the new patient paperwork and you can book your medical provider appointment with maybe these awesome nurse practitioners I have here. <laughs> Jess and Chanel, both know their stuff, very educated, and want to do what's best for you. So guys, contact us today and get set up to feeling your best every single day. Fat loss, spot reduction. This question gets brought up to me all the time from people. Can I just lose some weight here? I just wanna tighten this area in here and get rid of this. It's not gonna happen. It doesn't happen like that. Your body is going to change all around. When you start your weight loss journey, you start eating correctly, you start getting some activity in, you're sleeping well, you're taking your Titan therapies, all these things are going to help your transformation of your body all the way around, through and through, from top to bottom. You cannot get spot weight loss reduction, okay? The only way you can do this is with a non-invasive or invasive surgery that can help you, whether it's smart lipo or cool sculpting or whatever it may be. This could possibly help in those areas. But do you want to spend all that money when you could do it yourself and not have any possible negative side effects? Because even with surgeries and cool sculpting and all these great things that we have out there, there is a percentage of negative downside. There are people that get negatively affected by these different things. And if you don't believe me, you can read it right up in the news. Just type it into Google and I'm sure you'll see case after case. So make sure you're making the right decision. And the easy instant gratification might not be the right decision, okay? Do what's best for you. But I just want to give you the tools and give you the information so you can make the educated decision for yourself to do the right thing. Thanks, guys. What's up, guys? My name is... Rachel Daniels, I'm an IFBB Pro Olympian Women's Physique Competitor, and I am a lifetime client of Titan Medical Center. I'm here today to tell you why getting a full panel of blood work is so important, whether you're an athlete or not. So you don't have to be a competitive athlete for this to be an important thing for you to do. Whether you're just a lifestyle person or you're making your way to the Olympia, blood work is very important. 
we have all different hormones in our body that affect us every day in our life, uh, whether you're in the gym or whether you're just trying to have a good quality of life. Things like testosterone, your estrogen, your thyroid, these all play a major role in things like sleep, mood, overall performance, energy, and this trickles into your daily life. So keeping up with those things periodically throughout the year is just like the importance of going to a doctor and just getting a physical. So these are things that we can't see on the, on the outside and Titan Medical is really special because they have made these panels for, that are custom made for males and females which have different markers for each individual sex that are very important. So you have all the key hormones. You're not gonna just be at a normal doctor's office that's gonna give you all kinds of stuff that you don't really need or not test you for the things that you truly do need to see as a male or a female. So Titan Medical makes it super easy to come in with our doctors. They know what they're doing. They have the panels ready and they're available to go over these levels with you which is really important because if your blood work does come back and you are off on some certain things, we're not just gonna send you on your way not knowing what's going on. So we have these doctors here. They know what these markers are. They know what to look for. And they're here to help you understand what these levels mean. And we have the therapies to help you get back on track. So once again, I can't emphasize it enough. Whether you're a lifestyle client, whether you're just trying to make your quality of life better or whether you're a competitive Olympian. There's no other place that's going to make getting your blood work done easier than Titan Medical Center. What's up guys, John here with another Titan Medical movie review just for you. And of course I've got my son Peter here and his friend Gavin. And uh, Sharice was in the house for three quarters of this movie, but she left because she wasn't feeling too good. So she wanted to go home. So I totally understand that. But uh, yeah, great movie. So we're reviewing Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. This is the sequel to the original. And uh, Miles Morales and a whole bunch of different Spider-Mans did not disappoint in this one. Um, definitely really, really cool. I, I like the action. I like the animation of it. It wasn't like just regular cartoonish. It was definitely... Um, a step up from there, like especially from you know when we were kids, when I was a kid, uh, and the movies back then, and the the cartoon animation, it's just a, a whole nother level. So a uh, big step up for that. Marvel did a great job by bringing in these different characters and actually showing the background, their their history too in their comics. So it's really really cool there. Um, what about you? What did you think about it? It's okay. Okay. What did you like about it? Animation. What about you, Gavin? Yeah. I mean, the, just the attention, the detail, you know. The way, I, the ending sucked, but everything else about it, like, yeah. So, the ending left you in a cliffhanger because they're obviously going to bring out another one, so it was like to be continued, and it left in a really, really bad point. Um, but yeah, so if you're going to go see a movie, this is definitely a good one. So, star rating, I would definitely give this like a 4 out of 5, maybe, maybe a 4.3 out of 5. It was definitely there, all the characters were there. The ending sucked, that's why I wouldn't give it a higher rating. Like Gavin said, so he was right on point with that. Sharice wasn't here for the full movie, but three quarters of the way, I asked her a rating before she left. So she said three out of five is what her rating was. Now, I think if she she would have stayed the whole thing and had the cliffhanger, she probably would have lowered it down. So, you know, I'm going to give her a 2.5, and she'll see this this review and, and probably laugh about it. So it was really good. How about you? A three. Three? Mm-hmm. Okay. Gavin? I would give like a 4.5. Cause I feel I feel like it, it was a great movie, but yep. the cliffhanger just yeah. it got it would have been a five out of five without the cliffhanger. Okay, all right, it, it was that good. So obviously, did you think it blew away the first one? For sure. Yeah. For sure. How about you? Yeah. Okay, so I guess you know it blew away the first one. So definitely go out and see it. Spider Man. Across the Spider-Verse, Miles Morales, and all the other Spider-Mans are joining the fun. You guys will love it, I promise you, no matter what age you guys are. So it's another type medical movie review just for you guys. Go check it out, and we got more reviews coming your way. So stay tuned. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my beautiful wife here, and look at her beautifully curled hair, right? I did my makeup today. <laughs> are coming at you guys with great topics, tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully ignite, entice, and enhance your relationship to a whole nother level. 
Now, don't worry. If you're single, these things will help you guys too. It'll just be in your future relationship coming up. And you'll have all the tools you'll need to have a hopefully a successful and long lasting relationship. And if you guys are in a relationship right now, use some of these things. Use it at your disposal. Don't wait for things to get bad. And if you want to look at all the other tips and tricks that me and Sharice have came up with or talked about in the past, then you guys can always go to our YouTube page, hit the subscribe button there, or even download the podcast and listen to them on the go. And you'll get all this great information that we've been talking about almost about two years now, I think, it's right? It's been a while, yeah. It's been a long time, right? But with no further ado, let's talk about the topic that we have for this week. And it's a beautiful thing. It's going to be Father's Day today <laughs> when you're seeing this, right? Yes. So Father's Day is a big, important, I think, holiday in the year because I'm a father. A very important. Right. And um, obviously June's also Men's Health Month. And I haven't heard this too much from anybody out there in the public. But I think it's something that we need to focus in on too as well because we do have Mother's Day and Women's Health Month. And that's important. And Father's Day and Men's Health Month is just as important, right? Because think about it, you wouldn't be here on this earth if two people didn't tango, right? A male and a female, okay? Tango. To produce you or that produced us right here on this beautiful planet. You know, actually, now that you bring that up, it's so funny because, you know, me and John, we did a tango dance too. And guess what showed up for his Father's Day gift? Peter John Sikor. That's right. <laughs> didn't he he showed up one day was it on father's day that year yeah so the first year he was born was on father's how day. cool is that yeah. that your kid was born on father's day and you became a father truly became a father with the born baby yes on father's day yeah that was cool yeah and now the only bad thing is, is that they got he's got to share a birthday with the father's day and it's like you know you got to share year. with daddy Not it doesn't matter it's, it's, it's the weekend Oh, it's usually the weekend. Yeah. It's usually a couple of days. I'm seeing it's still his, yeah. it's it's a birthday Father's Day weekend. So you know, I'd be interested to see when Peter has his kids how that works out. Oh. So you can have a nice little double generation. The the you know grandfather must be here because it's Father's Day. Well, Should I mean, be interesting. It birthday, might, it Father's might go Day. in Peter's favor because Peter's birthday is before Father's Day. So when he becomes a father, he'll get his birthday present, and then two days later or a day later, whatever it is in that year. Oh. He'll be like, listen, where's my Father's Day present? That's not how it goes. You know, you guys know what's going to happen. It's the combined gift. No. That, that's this usually Christmas babies. Your Father's Day and that's why. slash birthday gift is here. <laughs> you're welcome, Peter. If you're a father and you're in this, this little tangle that we're in, okay, <laughs> require them to get you something or leave require you alone for the day or do something for you as a father, oh okay? Require them. Go get some underwear. <laughs> <laughs> but no, in all, in all seriousness, you know, Men's Health Month is a big month, yes. right? Father's Day is obviously an important day that we need to, you know, give a big shout out to all the fathers out there doing the right thing, right? Because anybody can become a father. Anybody can get a girl pregnant, but it takes a true man or a real father to stand by that and want to teach his, his young leaner, his offspring, the right way to be a man in this world. Um, and there's nothing wrong with being a man or being masculine in this world, too. I, I see a lot of different things out there about that, too. You know, masculinity is not toxic. Masculine, masculinity is what makes us men. There's masculine hormones. It's the, this is not toxicity right there. Um, you know, and it's a big thing because us men, you know, as, as we've evolved, right? We went from out there hunting, supplying all the food, breaking everything down for our families. Well, now we have, you know, we have women and they're equal in the same part where they can go do some of these different things too. We'll go shoot a couple of things. But the men should always lead their pack, right? And they should always be the alpha of the pack, I think, and that's my opinion. Now, not to say, there, old school not, to say there's not women out there that can be alphas too as well. I never take that away from a woman. I never look down Listen, on a woman. I'm an alpha, right? right? I'm an alpha. I'm just not an alpha when I'm with John. John's the alpha that's when right. we're together. That's right. But outside of that, I'm the alpha. That's right. So I've come to this realization after what 15 years. It's only Before taking that. me. It's only taking me about 10 years, a decade to figure it out, right? Uh, how about I just make sure it was perfect at that point? You know, it's been it's been moving. It's a work in progress, right? It's always a work in progress. You can always be better, right? Yes, all absolutely. And this is everything you guys do across the board, even relationships, which we're talking about today. So, you know. If you're in a relationship, obviously, if your partner is a father or the father of your child, obviously, hey, listen, you want to do something for Father's Day, right? Um, you know, mothers get their day and they get to do what they want. Fathers should be the exact same way. And, you know, 
a lot of time, like dads don't really, we don't care about gifts. It's not about that, I don't think. I think it's really about spending time with your family, right? Um, and just going over like how happy you are, just be, you know, you're blessed to have a family. Some guys out there or females, they never get that chance. They never get to have kids or whatever it may be. There's certain things that happen and it just doesn't work out that way, whether they're infertile or they just, you know, haven't found the right partner or just didn't come about that, right? So if you have that dad in your house, make sure you show him some love. If you're out of the house or, you know, your dad's not around you, give him a call, give him a text. Make sure you shout out and tell him how much you love him, right? And with Men's Health Month and Father's Day, let's talk about how their quality of life is. So, you know, majority of the time, like us dads, we take a lot of stress, you know? I mean, moms do too, right? Both in their different lights of, of what they do, so. Yeah, this abundance of stress. It's an abundance of stress. I'm talking about. All right. It's like an abundance. It's an abundance of stress. <laughs> um, and, you know, as we age and we get older, I mean, you know, different things happen to us guys. And, you know, I'm going to talk about another topic today, you know, later on you know, in another scene that we're talking about how men are mo more likely not to get checkups and why they don't get checkups. The right? breaths. Uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's an egotistical thing, like I'm a man or... You guys are being breaths. Most of the studies point that men think that they're more healthier than the other men out there. And that's why they don't go get checkups majority of the time. That's dumb. So that's really your ego or you being uneducated, you know, it, it's a form of ignorance, right? Thinking that you know it and you're uneducated about it. And I'm not calling you ignorant or stupid. Why not be ahead of the game, right? Definitely being ahead. And, you know, some people are like, well, I, I don't want to go in because I don't want to find anything wrong. Well, that's probably the worst excuse I ever hear from out of people's mouths. I hear it. Because at that point you want to go in and you want to make sure like you can find things at early stages if possible. Because if things keep going on and on and on, think about your car and you're driving down the street and you've got two tires out. Now, eventually you're going to keep going and if you're going 80 miles an hour, those tires are probably going to come off. Something else is going to happen to the vehicle and you're probably going to break down and have a, or have a crash. So you don't want this to happen to your body as males. Um, and, you know, us men, we don't have to deal with like menstrual cycles or anything like that. But we have to deal with everything else that goes on with our body. And there's yeah, a lot you guys of get this really cool thing that happens. It's called a prostate exam. Ooh. And you guys have to do this thing where you get an exam with a finger. Now, just so you she know. She had to add, add that in. I had to. I, mean, I, I think she why likes this. I every, this every time a guy goes in for a prostate exam, she's laughing. <laughs> I listen, guys. Hey, listen. Guy's, oh. I gotta make it. I, I I have to make it. Listen, I've been do, I've been in the medical field for. Let's not stamp the age now, because I'm not a day over 25. However, I have been in the medical field for almost 18 years. That's a long time, right? So in that 18 years, I've seen a lot. I've you know experienced a lot of different situations, that kind of stuff. And I'm telling you guys, honestly, any guy that's over the age, and I'll give you guys a little bit of window. Any guy that hits 45. If you hit 45, you need to get a prostate exam. Make sure you don't have an enlarged prostate. Make sure you get your PSA reading. It's important. It's really important. You guys skip it I, because you guys I don't want to do it. I understand. You don't want to go in there and get the finger. That's fine. However, it's important. It's like super important. If we're going to talk about men's health, I agree. I'm I was telling you, I was these are that. things that are, that are uh, they're skipped often. And it's because you just don't want to do it. That's fine. It's kind of like me, right? I don't want to go to the dentist. I hate the dentist. They have to put me to sleep just to clean my teeth. That's sad. However, I've had very, very bad experience with dentists. But I mean, it's the same thing, right? If I don't get my teeth cleaned, I'm probably going to end up in a bad situation yeah. with some sort of yeah. periodontitis. Yeah. I don't know who knows, right? So just make sure you get your prostate check. It's important. I know it's uncomfortable. You don't like it, whatever. But it might save your life. So on that note, prostate exams, yeah, are definitely recommended after 45. You know, usually you want to say 40s. And at that point, listen, you can also take a blood test first, mm -hmm. and this might show if your prostate is enlarged, right? And you'll know right away. And then you can go get, you know, back up with the finger test and make sure everything's good to go. And there are other tests that are coming out for the prostate, so you guys won't have to get this possibly in the future. So right now it's not there, but it's, it's, it is almost there for, Hopefully, for man, men to be is, able to I mean, do we're this. We're 2022 now, guys. Come you know? on. Um, so at that point, that, that's a big one. And, you know, the reason that she brings up prostate, and I would definitely regard prostate, is because prostate cancer is on the rise too as well. Mm -hmm. The numbers keep getting higher and higher every year. So this is something that we need to look out for as, as us as males, because females don't have prostates. Us guys, we're the only guys that have prostates. 
So at that point, we need to check these things out. Make we sure make such a good. big deal about breast cancer, right? Yeah. So why would we not make a thing for prostate cancer? Yeah. It's the same Agreed. thing. It's, just, it's, it's the same exact scenario, except breast cancer is for, me, for females yep. and prostate cancer is more in direction of males. No. So, I mean, you gotta, you gotta bring it up, right? Yeah. You can't be scared to bring up topics that you don't want to discuss. And guys, males out there can get breast cancer too as well. 100%. Okay, so that's not just a female thing. That, that can be also be true with males out there too as well. So if your family has history of breast cancer on both sides and you're a male, this could possibly put you at a higher risk. You wanna make sure you, you're looking at these different things. Your family history and your health history are gonna to go together. Um, and even though you might not say, oh, well, I'm healthy right now. Now, if you have a lot of you know issues with your family history on both sides, you're at higher risk for these different things. Um, so these are different things you need to look out for. Now, us as males, like I said, as we get older, we decline, our hormones, you know, they start becoming deficient or not optimal. And this causes us a lot of other issues out there. We're tired, right? Lethargic, brain fog, uh, you know, our metabolism is not what it used to be, you know? Uh, you know, you're eating and you're doing exercise, but you're not recovering either. And things just aren't moving on the scale or result wise. You know, you have to look at what's really going on inside. And a lot of people wait on this too. They just, they cover up these different symptoms like energy or lethargic and give it energy drinks or caffeine pills or whatever it is to cover up the symptoms. Band-aids. This is not getting to the root to the problem. Um, you know, you're covering up a bleeding wound with a band-aid like she's saying. And at that point, you really want to make sure you're doing the diagnostics inside too as well. So what do I mean by that? So what I mean by that is, is doing a fully in-depth blood panel on yourself. Now, not normally one that you get from your general practitioner, um, you know, where it's testing your cholesterol, um, you know, your liver and your kidneys, and that's really about it. We're talking about different hormones, free and total testosterone levels, estrogen levels, progesterone levels, growth hormone levels. Plus, we want to make sure your PSA, your prostate is in check, and your liver, your kidney, and your cholesterol, and your full thyroid is in check too as well. And we can check for a whole bunch of other different things, but right now, we've got that Father's Day full blood panel package, which is usually $200, and we're doing it for $130 for all the dads out there, all the guys out there. We wanna make sure your guys' health's in check. And if your partner, right, is a male, and you wanna make sure they're good to go, right? Because I hope that you wanna be with your partner for a long time, and you want them to be the healthiest and feel the best. Because when your partner feels the best, they're gonna give you the best too as well. And that's just gonna make things better for your relationship all the way around. And Even girls, if you're a girl, right? Girls, you get checked too. Listen, and well, this and if you mentioned Cupid's Corner, we'll discount your blood work. That's usually three hundred. We'll oh, discount wow. it down to the two hundred mark. Wow! Just if you mention Cupid's, Cupid's Corner. Corner and Sharice with the curls, because yep. you'll never see me. Like oh, that. there you go. So now I'll know you watched the episode. So guys. <laughs> Guys, take this as an important message to you to make sure you're keeping your health in check. It's number one investment. It's something that you need to take care of yourself and take care of your family in the future. If you're a wife, a fiance, a girlfriend, or just a friend of somebody that's a guy that you may think that needs this, get it, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's our message. Hit the Father's Day Blood Work Special. You females take advantage of it too. Make sure you uh -huh. mention Cupid's Corner for Sharice. And we're gonna be back to you guys every Sunday, 11 a.m. on ABC. If you guys don't watch it live, DVR it, or if not, go to YouTube, type in Type Medical Center, and watch all the great videos. Hit the for me, button. my wife, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you guys next week on another Cupid's Corner. See you then. Bye, guys.